Hello everyone, we have another box from the Alvanus Cuban Cigar unboxing today. Just came in yesterday. Once again, this is Monte Cristo. Monte Cristo number number was Cinco, 25 cigars. 25 cigars in the box. Uh, 42 ring gates by five and a half. This is the box, beautifully done again. Yellow Habanas embossed label over here, DOP, and the Cuban Cuban seal over here. Um, again, they put that seal on. Nicely done. Barcode over here has been taken off. And we have the hologram here on the side, just to show that it's not a counterfeit Cuban cigar. So this is the box, very small box, and we have in the back as well, and the date, this was produced in December 2014, uh, it's about a year now, it's a little bit, aged a little bit, TUP, that's the, the um, factory code, Habanos, it's sealed by Habanos SA, Henshin in Cuba, Cuba. Made in Cuba, totalmente a mano, that also means all made by hand. And I guess we're gonna go ahead and unbox this thing and we'll, we'll see what's inside this delicious, delicious cigars. It should be uh, notes of vanilla. That's what they say about the taste, vanilla taste, coffee. Not espresso, but just coffee. And as well as a cocoa flavor. Um, but again, let's take a look. It should be a Monte Cristo numero cinco, and that should be uh, 25 cigars inside the box. And again, there's another one nail up here. I guess we need to pry this up if we could. It's very little knife seems like to do the job here. Oh boy, delicious! Let's see what's inside. Go. Nice seal over here, Monte Cristo, Havana, another Monte Cristo over here, embossed, There's finishing swords over here, they're embossed, number five, number five, it says cabinet selection, and of course they always come with this one on how to store your cigars in a humidor, some directions all right let's go ahead and look at it i'm excited about this cigar uh, i had ordered one um this a couple of weeks ago but it was uh, confiscated i didn't get through the country and i ordered another one actually the company that i got this i was very good enough to refund give me a refund because i showed them the uh, counterfeit um counterfeit um, uh, papers that I received from the Homeland Security right there in uh, GFK oh this is something interesting there seems to be a signature here and then, then this Garcia hmm why well, would be a signature be in there that's interesting um I hear some of the stories that some of the people that yeah, because it's totally made handmade from the box to the cigar and to the packing of the cigar in the box are all handmade what I hear was some of the um, actually the, uh, the the people that um, that uh, uh, put this in the box would somehow sometimes put signatures I'm not sure what that is if that's the thing but it's just beautiful signature here by Menendez Mr. Menendez Garcia I'm assuming it's uh, a male here but it's a nice signature here it seems like it's probably it's probably from the printing over here so that's probably how it how it is with the Monte Cristos but in the back here there's no signatures or anything uh, sometimes they put signatures up in the back here you will find one sometimes you put signatures on the side inside so let's go ahead and open this up and look at the cigars lovely cigars wow look at that look at this cigars like and again all the, the rings over here 
they really did a nice job here they're all straight and the color it seems like it starts from the dark color here and then actually if you would notice it the lighting is not as good uh, but uh, it's darker color here and it goes to a little bit lighter but they're all dark color but it's just dark and it gradually goes a little bit lighter uh, color right here on the right side here um, again the ring gauge is here is 42 by uh, five and a half uh, again it's a very short cigar very small cigar should be good for again for winter time you don't have uh, enough oh here it is a, st a little story of Menendez Garcia actually is always here um, a, all sizes in the Monte Cristo brand are guaranteed guaranteed to be of one of quality only the finest the tobacco used in their manufacture bring a selection and, and blend of the highest grade tobaccos uh, Pre-curable um, in the island of Cuba and that is the words from Menendez Garcia I guess I guess he's the um, one of the Don Menendez Garcia that runs this factory that takes care of the uh, Monte Cristo let's pull up one hopefully we get a nice one here and again remember there, this is the cigars are handmade um, there you go and again I always get every time I pull up one there's always some kind of a um, like this one again another frog eye actually it's a hole over here I hope there's no cigar beetle in here um, but it's quite nicer rolled it's like it's square it's like box press um, very short interesting and the ring over here it's like a chocolate already chocolate color let's pull up another one here let's see um, maybe just that one that I pull every time I pull with this Havana cigar sometimes they have imperfection in them I mean uh, and then the foot over here perfectly nice nicely rolled not too tight it should be an easy draw for this you should get a lot of smoke when you draw it so let's go about the dark the dark one the very dark one here on the side here that really looks lovely right there um, Again, it looks a little bit square, box pressed, they say. Uh, this one is a beautiful construction, very minor vein over here. Again, for a very small cigar, um, um, it looks very nice. A bit oily to the touch. And there we go. Uh, let me go ahead and pull this all out here and see what we have underneath here. Um, we haven't done this one before, but I'll always put it back. And then, of course, we have one here is a cedar, Spanish cedar. That also gives flavor to the cigar. Um, you know, we have it very nicely done. And there it goes. There's the uh, rest of the cigars here. Very nice, very lovely. Alright, have a good day, everyone.